Hello literature lovers. Today as you can see I am discussing modern period which started from 1900s to 1961 and it includes the brief history introduction of the period that is the second half of the 19th century to the early decades of 20th century and talking about the social and natural sciences which really advanced at that time and that needs to material wealth and the capitalism came into it and the monopoly stage started. There are sharp contradictions and that increased the gap between rich and poor. With that also, the literature also transformed and the term Victorian also was used in the first decade. It was filled with hypocritical and the superficial stupidity and the meanness was the ideals at that time and nothing was considered as certain everything was questioned at that time and the fundamentals also changed including the artistic fundamentals and at that time and the mean generation the ugly portion was talking about exception of the voice of authority was accepted and religion was almost misuse and politics was there and all these things really affect literature also. These aspects should be considered in quite detail and the attitude to religion and science is also changing and theory of Darwin was also used and that really changed the point of view of the people and there were families, empires, their constitution, sound footing all these things pointed out and we can see the performance of the institutes of that period. Now, H.G. Wells uh, emerged as a great writer and who questioned everything, especially the authority and now talking about the works of G.B. Shaw uh, and that is Major Baba that really talked about it. Mm. The mind, modern mind was outraged by the Victorian self competency, compliancy, and then the works like David Copperfield and Vanity Fair were quite common and emerged as the great thinker. And here we can talk about the end of the Victorian era and how it led to the decline of the family circle. People were really ready to refuse the parent authority. And the narrowness of the families was started and love became much more of a romance more than of an experience. The society's thinking was developing and running the risk of the false notes were forwarded and the different fresh techniques were used appealing to masses and you can see how scientists were thinking talking about different ideas which really emerged in that century. There were a number of writers who bred and brought up in such atmosphere and began to voice these ideas in their writings. And we have bygones and the unmechanized and pre-mechanized ages were talked about. No doubt several complications were there in that era. And you can feel the scientific application and the freedom was used in greater context related to it. And there was begin the whole series of cheaply reprinted classics were there. And we can see it's not easy to divide into school and types. It is full of adventures and experiments. And there is an undercurrent in its parallel appeal. It flows in great impetuosity. Victorianism began with it. And so we can see how the historical background of the age has quite clearly talked about the modernism. First, historically, how things changed because of First World War and Second World War. Now the economical changes talking about the ideology of that period 
and the literary trends starting with modern poetry novels and then dramas of that world and here we are talking about its major writers of that period and uh, overall aspects are portrayed and which needed to be understood including d h lawrence and who really marked with his excellent works and the themes are being analyzed here next comes james joyce and his works and the themes are presented clearly and you can see how he changed the thinking and the edwardian period also portrayed here uh, along with modern period that continued with it and talking about Ezra Pound and many other writers not talking about the post modern period that is starting from 1945 uh, since many authors were there of that period are being portrayed and the major works are by Samuel Beckett and Gabriel then J.D. Salinger and Margaret Atwood. Thanks.